hi i'm larry powell i'm a science teacher here at close community college and this is my colleague todd kirk and all and this is our science museum we call it the interactive science museum science is our middle name and todd and i and lee ellen phipps also was a very key member of this whole team we put this thing together and we hope that everybody will enjoy coming through here and taking a look at what we have we want it to be a hands-on science experience for everyone and if you're interested you could call Lee Ellen's phone number at uh, 769-4929 and we could try to set up an appointment for you. Hey Larry, here's a couple of good looking young men who are wanting to check out our science museum. Can we see the science museum? You sure can, let's go. Go ahead. <laughs> this is like Reno 911, I like this so much. cases set up that are very interesting. Here we have a whole bunch of different examples of skulls that we can take a look at and compare. Over here we have a human biology section right here that shows some human organs and differences between between male and female skeletons and a gigantic eyeball and different parts of the body and the heart and the brain, all sorts of things there. And then we have a computer bank here with some pretty neat Bill Nye stuff in it right now. And the last case that we have on this side deals with cells. All kinds of neat things here. We have animal mitosis, plant mitosis. We have different models of sugars and starches and proteins and good old DNA. Okay, here at this station we have all of our, uh, a lot of our digital microscopes. These are already hooked up to computers so we can just see the images that we're looking at here on the computer screen. What we're looking at here is just the head of a mosquito. You can see the mouth parts and stuff that are they're located on that. And you can move these around. See the difference. Here at this other station, we've got not only animal stuff, but we also have this is a slide here showing different onion cells that we have. And again, you can also, if you want to, you can yourself you can take this down to a higher magnification. Okay, you've seen some of our biology stuff. Now let's come over to the other side of the museum and you can take a look at more of our physical science side. Now over in this side of the, of the uh, museum, we have again more of our physical science demonstrations and things. And you can see over here our, our young scientists are checking out some of our uh, music and tuning forks and uh, different, just different things that they can play with and have fun. Wow, that's the Fender machine. Let that thing really go. Perfect. All right, this, what this is called is a zoetrope, and it's going to help us, to, as you look through here and the image keeps cutting that you're seeing, it's going to give the illusion that there's animation and this picture is actually moving. And really what you're seeing is a bunch of different pictures that show the next sequence of the movement. We also have some other different things here with our physical science side where you can uh, do different optical illusions or, say, look through the mirror and draw the pictures that you're seeing that's being reflected down onto the paper. Hey, fellas, let's go over to the gear table. It's pretty cool. The way this works is these gears are magnetic on the bottom, so you can move them all over the place. And then they have little handles on the side of them. And mix them go around. But you don't just have to have that arrangement. You can move these things all over the place. And move those gears around. Over here at 
this table, we're looking at different types of circuits and how we can use electricity. This first set we have here is a series circuit. And when you take this series circuit, we're going to click this up here. And now I want you to take it and close that, close that circuit. And you see when it does that, the light bulbs come on, doesn't it? Can you see the voltage we have here? There you go. Now pick that one back up. That's a series circuit, but this is going to be a parallel circuit. Now, once you close this one, we call this display Guess the Gas. And this one, we have several different tubes with different elements, gases, and also air and carbon dioxide. We have some little hints as to what they are. And then you guess what gas it is. You push the button, you can actually see the gas light up inside those tubes. What is this? Well, what we've got here is we've got a bunch of minerals that we were able to collect. So we see all different kinds of minerals and different magnifying glasses too that you can look at these minerals with. So you can take that magnifying glass and you'll be able to look at these different minerals and see the different textures. Different fossils of animals that have died a long time ago. And you can see some of the different shells that they had. See these shells here? See how they were fossilized here? See all these different animals. These were all living animals at one time. Right here as we're talking, our sound, the sound of our voice is coming out as waves. And it's hitting this dish, and this dish is going to amplify them and focus them all the way back over to that other dish. And then it takes it and refocuses it back so they can hear it better. It sounds like there's speakers here that we're able to actually hear them. Or a brain. A brain, yeah. I'm with you. Good. Perfect idea. That's a great idea. Thanks for taking the tour with us. Hope to see you soon. See your future, CCC. Go with Community College. Feed your need to succeed. Change, challenge, and create. Expand and go beyond. Find the right path to take. Dream big and watch what happens. You'll find a new career. See your future, CCC.